Hey boys and girls, it's Caitlin and Marie from Enochville Church of God. How y'all children doing? Tonight's lesson, Caitlin and I are going to do um, a lesson on snow and snowflakes. And here is Caitlin. That's right, guys. So today we're going to be talking about snowmen and snow and snowflakes. So our lesson says that, did you know that God makes every snowflake different? No two ice crystals are alike. Yeah, I knew that. Even one snow crystal reminds me of God because just like the snowflake, God created each person different from each other. We are unique and beautiful to God just like each snowflake. Have you ever picked up a bunch of snowflakes and packed them together to make a snowman? Yes. That's right, and it's a lot of fun, isn't it? I love it. That's right. So when I pack the snow together to make a snowman, I think of Jesus too. When I pack the snow together, it reminds me that when a lot of people that have received Jesus as their Savior get together, we have a lot of fun. I'd say we have a lot of fun at church, don't you? I do too. I wish we'd get back in. That's right. Hopefully soon. So one snowflake doesn't make a snowman. Lots of snowflakes do. Lots, lots of them, right? Right. But the more snow pressed together for the same purpose, the bigger the snowman. The same with serving Jesus. The more Christians working together for the same reason, the more work can be done and more fun for everyone. Each time we make a snowman, it is different. A different size, a different shape, and it's decorated different. Each time Christians work together for Jesus, the projects are different. Some are big, some are small, and there are different blessings found in each one of them. It's fun to work together to build a snowman, and it's fun to work together to serve God. The snowman only lasts for a little while, and then it melts, and it changes to water. And that reminds us that when we receive Jesus as our Savior, our life changes, but Jesus never does. And we see this in 2 Corinthians 5.17. And I will read it. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. That's right. So our life changes. It becomes new. We get rid of the old and we accept Jesus. But Jesus never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we read that from the Bible in Hebrews 13, 8. And it is Jesus Christ the same. Yesterday, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. That's right. He's our living water flowing in us. God's living water keeps us spiritually refreshed and healthy so we can serve Him. As we work together with other Christians to serve God, the projects don't last forever, but the blessings the projects are to those that work together and for those who are touched by the project, the love of Jesus melts into each person and fills them with a little more understanding of God's love. Making a snowman reminds me of hope. The snowman is sometimes hard to make, Sometimes they can be really heavy to pick up, can't they? And you oh, have to work together, yeah. right? Takes two. That's right. Or more, depending on how big you make them, right? <laughs> That's true. But when I'm finished, I look at the snowman and I feel satisfied and cheerful. And my heart is happy. So whenever we feel burdened and our hearts are cold, think about the snowman and the beauty of the snow that God sent. Jesus is our source of hope. He warms our hearts and melts away our burdens when we trust him. And we see that in Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. That's right. So this takes us to our craft for this week. So our craft for this week, we actually have two of them. The first one is a snowflake craft. So you'll get a couple of different, a couple of coffee filters in your bag for this week and you'll be able to make a snowflake out of them and we'll show you how to do it but this is my snowflake that i made that's caitlin's and then this is miss marie's see that's how right. different that's right they are very different but just like we read in our lesson we are unique and beautiful to god just like each snowflake so we're going to give you a couple of coffee filters to make your snowflake so we'll go ahead and show you how to do that so you'll take a whole coffee filter and you're going to fold it in half 
just like this. And then you're going to fold it in half one more time, just like this. And then you're going to take it, and you're going to take some scissors, and you may have to have mom or dad's help. And then you're going to cut the tip of it off in whatever shape you want to. Or you can leave the, the tip of it on there, however you want to make your snowflake. And then you're going to cut designs out of the two sides here and across the top. But make sure that you leave parts of the sides intact because if you don't, you'll open up your snowflake and it'll be completely falling apart. So you just want to cut a couple of little pieces out in different designs. You can make them hearts like Miss Marie's or squares, triangles, circles, whatever shape you want to out of them. And you just cut a couple, as many as you want. Again, just make sure that you still have some of your edges still intact or it won't open up. So see how I've cut shapes out of them, but I still have pieces that connect them. Make sure you keep those connecting pieces there. You want to make sure that you keep them there so it opens up and stays whole. So then here I am cutting off the top pieces into different designs and shapes. I'm going to cut a little one right here. Just like that. So now we have it. And then when we unfold it, looky there. We have a whole new snowflake that looks different so than this different. one. And this one. And different than Miss Marie's. So here are all of our unique and different snowflakes. So what did we learn in our lesson about what happens when you get a whole bunch of snowflakes together? You make a big one. Uh-huh. You make you a make big ball and if you stack three of them together you make a big old snowman that's right so that's our second craft for today we're gonna be making a snowman and you'll get your snowman snowman package like this and it has all your pieces down here to decorate it with so you'll just need some glue or some yep. um maybe some glue dots you have a nose and eyes and a hat and a scarf and all you do is open this up, and all your pieces are there, and you can make it any way you want. That's right. But this snowman shows what all you have in your bag, but you can make them however you want to. So that's what we have for everybody today is our, our snowman and the reminder that God makes each and every one of us different. unique, different, but lovable and beautiful all in the same time. So we'll go ahead and head over to Miss Marie to close in prayer. All right. Dear Lord, we've come to you, and we hope that the children of the Edenville Church of God is doing well, Lord. Please watch all, over all of us for the rest of the year. Give us joy and excitement to get back into church. And please, Lord, we pray that this coronavirus will be gone so we can all get back into your house where the children can be with Caitlin and I in person. And uh, we want to wish everyone a very safe weekend. Amen. Amen. Bye guys. Bye.